Okay. Okay, starting again. I have ways to share my, <laughs> my kits. <laughs> First, I sort them between my one inch and quarter inch and half inch and, I, and my teeny tinies. Then I have baggies and I put labels on my bags. They're quart size bag. They're the gallon size bags, not, not little sandwich bags. And so I'll put labels on them and I make categories and I have living room, you know, the rooms of the house. I have, you, know, you make up your own. I have beach theme, um, um, clothes, um, toys, um, animals. Anyway, I make a lot of different categories. And then, and I have one for each scale. <laughs> Well, not in half inch, all my, I don't have very many half inch kits, so they just all go in one bag, but uh, then I'll have them in one inch or uh, so I'll have one inch or quarter inch. And then I, when I get new kits, I just put them into those. Now, these are little kits I'm talking about, more like round table kits. If I have big kits like uh, Picket Hill or something like that, I, I have bought because they look nice on the shelf. So I've spent the big bucks over the last 25 years buying all my boxes from container store because they've had the same exact clear plastic box. They have never changed the design or the style or the sizes. And so depending on the size of the kit, I will make a label, put it on the box and store everything for that project if it's for a project a kit, pro, you know, like a Picket Hill kit or something like that, a big project, I'll put everything in that box. Once I start constructing it, well, the house itself is going to have to just be set on a shelf and then the box will be set next to it with all the parts and the paints and everything in it. But um, so I'm fairly organized with that kind of stuff, um, except that when I bring new things in, I don't always get around to putting them away where they belong. So then I have chaos again, but I do store my kits and I can pretty much, if I want to say, okay, if I want to make a baby room, I would go to my kits, say quarter inch baby room, go to my quarter inch kits and look for the baggie. Cause the little kits I store in, um, then I just, put all those kits into a, a gallon size thing. So I'll find my gallon size bag in the drawer with the kits that says children and babies. And I'll go through it to see what I have that I can use or clothes, you know, and I might find hat kits and other things in there. Of course, I've been doing this 40 years, so I have an awful lot of kits. Okay, uh, Kelly. I'm here. There. Can you see me? Yeah. Yeah. Let me put it on so. And you Julie, gonna... you need to listen to this. Okay, you did, Kelly. Are you going to put the focus on me? Uh huh. Okay. Are you going to spot? Oh, there she is. Yeah. Okay. I have a dream box. Oh, <laughs> lucky you. <laughs> that was my birthday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Groundhog's Day <laughs> gift. You know? And the way I do my kits are in the drawers and I do them by size. Come down here until I get ones like, um, Robert Betterly, because <laughs> I have so many of them. Can you see it? Let's see, there's half. Yeah. Oh, it's backwards. No, not not too often. Oh, okay. You can see there's Betterly. And then I have Volkner. Oh, Volker Arnold, yeah. Yeah. So that's the those way are I some of my categories too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my my other stashes i'd hate to even bring them up here are in these cabinets over here 
I've got a, I've got one that's just nothing but Christmas and Halloween. It's oh gosh. I'm ashamed to even show you this. <laughs> yep, that looks like my room. <laughs> and then some of the uh, littler things I have, I have in drawers. I have a whole drawer of House of Miniatures. Oh, yeah. Somebody I work with gave them to me for $5 a piece. And then I've got a lot of min the metals, you know, the unpainted metals. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So I, I keep those in there. Are they in little drawers? They're in my sister's a dental assistant. <laughs> Let me see if I can open this up. Nice. Can you see those little? Well, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Those uh, come with uh, crowns or teeth. <laughs> nice. So that's that's what I. But I've got all my stuff like that in here. In those little pill bottle containers or pill organizers monday through <laughs> friday they work real well yeah. for some of the little things anyway i would say that's that's it but you'll love your dream box uh the reason i made that comment is julia has a dream box also yeah <laughs> <laughs> i know i love mine I'm still else? working on organizing mine, but I yeah, love it too. Yeah, I've had it for about a oh year and a half, and I've reorganized it about four times. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Anyone else have any other ideas about storing kits? Of oh. course, there are those amongst us who find that they didn't organize theirs and they have about four identical things and they still go out and say, oh, I must have one of those and buy another one. <laughs> I name no names. <laughs> that is so true because even though I do sort them into these different categories, I don't remember when I'm out looking at kits what I have. So I think, oh, this is really cute. And I come home and find I have about five of them. Well, that just proves that your opinion of the kit is just as high on the first time as the fifth time. Yes, I know. <laughs> and I've still not made any of them. <laughs> Wait, we don't and need to go into that conversation. Like, other women like shoes. I go mad on chairs. God knows why. But I've got little chairs all over the place. Oh, I they, know. I love little chairs. Absolutely. Very handy for a scene. If you need a got a blank space, put a chair, drape something over it, bingo. And if I see a Raggedy Ann or Andy, it's all I can do to keep from buying it because I've got <laughs> 500 of them. There's some of us that don't have kits. Well, well, some of us consider ourselves kit collectors. So we don't have to make them, we collect them. Oh, okay, there is that too. Well, I consider myself both because I love kits but I just don't make them necessarily. <laughs> I can show oh, you yeah. how I store kits. Okay. Yeah. Give me a second. I got to unplug my iPad. And, um, no wonder. And I have to find one. There you are. Okay. Okay. I just got to flip my camera. Can you see this? <laughs> oh, Excuse that's me. nice. So oh, I have nice. nice. The, um, I love drawers. And labels. Excuse me, are, would each of you identify yourselves before you start a new person talking? It's Wanda. Hi, Wanda. I'm Holly. Her no name problem. is I'm incognito here at the blurry screen. So, <laughs> her name is down in the lowest.
corner of her of her window, which is, and her window is the one with the uh, uh, drawers. I see that. I haven't yeah. seen her name. I did see her text message pop up that she was willing to show her organization. Yeah, yeah Holly's on a phone, so she doesn't get some of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. A phone is really difficult. Especially a phone that seems to be broken. Yeah. Do you want me to show you? No, I yeah, can see now the They look beautiful. I but how is it that. organized, Wanda? I'm trying to get wow. to that point. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So each Sorry of to them have are, interrupted. Each of them are organized by, say, accessory kits, 112 scale furniture kits. So if I open up one yeah. of the drawers here, these are all my house of miniature. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Who are you and do you give lessons in organization? <laughs> These are some, some of the poly packed furniture kits. Beautiful. And these are some, actually, that's a furniture kit up over. These are some accessory kits. Yeah. So I do all of it like that. Like I even, like my scrap wood and everything like that, everything is labeled here. Uh, you know, whether it's clay, things like that. So. So every drawer has things in it. So I have 32 of these Michael's drawers there. And then I just simply have a countertop on top of it with my projects on it. Well, that's a good idea. Oh, that's nice, Wanda. Yeah, yeah that is. That's it come on good. well. That has yeah. come on well. Yeah, I'm just uh, jigging some things there now. But that's basically it. There's sections that end up looking as untidy as this, but the drawers <laughs> themselves so you know almost everything you know organized like that right beautiful very nice yeah i found i couldn't put all my just my one inch together or my quarter inch together because i had literally hundreds of little kits mm -hmm. so that i couldn't find anything unless i broke it down into smaller categories. Anyone else? Comments, I have questions? Some. I can Ooh. show up how I do my uh, Okay, good. Okay. My name's Jean. Hi, Jean. Hi, Hi everyone. Jean. So what I do, I have, I bought the Ikea Ooh. shelves for oh, my yeah. kids. As you can see, now I have quarter inch is this whole entire row. And in here I have, like Barbara did, I have um, Ziploc bags. Everything's labeled of what's what, whether it's kits right. of vehicles. If they're built, they go in a little floss box. Yes, mine do too. I can't open it with one hand, so, but that's where they go. And then I have more quarter inch scale things because for my shopping spree, I decided to buy more instead of make them. And then I go down <laughs> here to my micro accessories, except of course, some more quarter inch scale things. And my micros are all organized by the conventions, the make and model, the Betterly's, um, Volkner, mm -hmm. Michelle's, all different types of right. things. And then I go over here and I have my sequins and wires and all that, more kits. And then my 12th scale is on that side. Mm. Wow. But this is how I store all my fun kits. Nice big room. That's great. It's a 10 by 10. And is it long. really? It looks longer. It looks yeah. longer. <laughs> Loves along the shelves. Uh, the shelving. Boy, the I wonder. The shelves were great. That was <laughs> the best thing I ever bought. Yeah. Listen, Ikea shelves go everywhere. <laughs> they do. And they survive the flood and everything. Yeah, they do yeah. pretty well. And if they don't, they're not that expensive. You can replace them. Exactly. I don't know how many of you have been on Zooms when Pat and Doreen in Alberta? Yeah. 
uh, Calgary, they have a wonderful setup. Mm. And Kim Hood, you have a comment? And you're muted. that better can you hear me now yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so i use these boxes like this i get mm -hmm. them at the dollar tree they've got a really nice latching lid and a handle so i can grab them and then i can see through them to see what kits i have in them and then nice. i don't know can you see the metal racks behind me they're like yeah. baker's racks on wheels mm -hmm. And I have them stored the long way. And then I pull it out and I can see the whole thing. So yeah. that's how I do mine. Nice space you have too. <laughs> yes. Very good. Thank Very you. Good. I have a lot of space. Else? It's a mess right now, but there's hope. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Anyone else have any ideas or comments or anything? If not, I will stop the recording. <laughs>